you think that you need to become passionate? It's something that you can learn how to become passionate. You just need to feel it. You just need to have it inside you. You just need to put your goal and to do anything to reach it. That's all. If, if like everyone will tell you, no, don't do it. It's not for you. You're never going to make it. Don't listen to these people. Listen to yourself. It's better to try to do it and it will be not successful. Then your whole life you will, you will think, oh my God, I needed to try it. Why didn't I do it, you know? Yeah. So it's better to try. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. I agree. I, I feel like a lot of people, they, they kind of get caught up in, every, in everybody else's life. Especially, you know, being out here in Los Angeles. I mean, you got a lot of people that move out here and they want to be like the next big thing. Yeah. But they're still distracted by all these you know what what's so and so doing you know i gotta keep scrolling through social media but i feel like that can also serve as a big distraction another thing social media and all the young ladies see that all these pretty like well, perfect bodies like yeah. models and all these comments and they feel mm, not pretty like oh i want to be like her it's so it's everything it's so not true like 50% of all this social media is, is fake. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I mean, people <laughs> people be uh, buying fake followers and... Like, everything fake. Yeah, they, they live in the fake life. Yeah. You know, they go somewhere just to make a picture, pretend that they live in this life. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's it's sad. It's very sad. So, so what do you recommend for somebody that they're on social media like all the time, looking up to these, like you said, you know, bottles and actresses, actors, and they want to be just like them. I advise to live their own life, not the life of the people who they're following. No, they can follow, they can learn something from the right people, but not to live in their lives. So they spend like five hours a day. I don't know, maybe someone spent 55, yeah. <laughs> but I mean like five hours a day. It's better to spend a little time on social media, but invest this time to make yourself grow, you know? Yeah. It's better. It's better to invest into yourself because time is priceless. Mm. That's powerful. And you know, it's, it's funny, like going through the school systems, they don't necessarily teach that. They don't necessarily teach, you know, investing into you, investing into yourself. Exactly. Personally, yeah. myself, Lika, I mean, with, I'm 23 right now. I picked up my first self-help book, personal development, when I was 15 years old. Wow. And this was, I'm from a small town in Pennsylvania. It's very conservative. And a lot of people, they're like, what are you reading? And I told them, I was like, I'm reading something about success. And they said, like, who's this guy that wrote the book? And I was like, he's somebody that I look up to, like a mentor. And they're like, you know, he's just trying to take your money. And they, they didn't get that. So I'm over here reading books about success at like 15 years old, and they're over here kind of criticizing. So maybe somebody's out there now that might be listening and they have a hard time because maybe it's their inner circle or their friend group that they live by. So it's like they're living by their opinions and what they say. Exactly. It feels as if they need an approval. Exactly. You know? So like somebody that is in that circle, let's say, like they know just by listening to this, they need to maybe cut somebody off or make an adjustment, but it's hard for them. So how does somebody make an adjustment? How does somebody just say, hey, like I don't want to like totally cut you out, but I just need some space. You know what I mean? Because you can be bold, you can be blunt and just be like, hey, like I'm done. But some people, they're not like that. Some people aren't gorillas. They're not super blunt, you know what I mean? Well, you have to, like, uh, you have to work on yourself. Mm. And people can change. Uh, one thing that you mentioned, it's so right, that some people so, like, listen to everyone, but not themselves. Like, and they very, very listen to other people's opinion. I mean, it's so crazy, come on. Come on. I mean, I never do it. Because yeah. I have a lot of 
haters, people who trying to put me down, even in my circle, you know, I know people who smile at me but wish me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. You know, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, but people look at you and they're like, you know, let me, let me try to, you know, just. You probably have a lot of people that try to take things, maybe. Oh yeah, they yeah. try to copy me and to try to do something that I do. But you know, I I don't feel like bad for this people. No, I feel nothing. I mean, wherever if you want to try to do something, if you want to be like me, it's good for me. It means that I'm someone that you want to copy me and be like. It's a compliment. Yeah. Right. So I mean, but never, guys, never listen to anyone. And someone who advise you, maybe he's not your friend. So don't listen to these advice. It's, it's it's like. There's a lot of snakes out there. Exactly. A lot of people be like, "Hey, I'm a, I'm a be here, you know, for the long haul. I'm a, I'm a be here since, since day one." And I'm sure you've seen it yourself, Lika. Like just the success that you've had, you've had people that have tried to remind you of, like, "Hey, remember me?" Like I was there in the beginning, right? <laughs> well, you know, I never forget someone who helped me, yeah. or you know, these people are still around me. These people are still next to me, uh, but um. And don't take me wrong, I'm not telling you guys to not to trust to people. No, 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 no. It's very different. Not not to listen to people who advise you something that matter for you, like it's something that's important for your career or life. It's different. You need to be a decision maker, first of all. So this is the way I live and I feel comfortable. Mm. That's that's interesting. So, throughout your career so far, um, of course, success is different for everybody. But when would you say that you really started to notice that a lot of people were really just trying to take from you? Was there a certain moment in your life? You know, was was it you know, whenever you won like a certain award? Like when was it that you really? You had to tell yourself, like, hey, I can't, I can't just like please everybody now. Like, you got to be kind of harsh, not harsh, but like you kind of got to be very stern with what your decision making is. Does that make sense? Uh, it makes sense. Okay. But you know, you mentioned what is success. Success yeah. is it means different for everyone. For someone, oh my God, I have a million followers. It's success. For someone, yeah, that's true. For, yeah. For someone, oh, I'm making money. It's a big success. For someone, I have a respect from these people, I have a success, you know? Mm. Let's first talk about success. Can I ask you a question? What is success for you? Mm. Success for me is personally inspiring and empowering the, the millennial generation, giving them purpose. Because I, I feel as if a lot of millennials nowadays, they personally, they don't have the direction, they don't have the guidance. Because again, you have social media out there that's very distracting. So whether it's somebody that's been through a divorce, uh, mother and father, because I can relate to that. My, my parents are divorced, so it's like, I can relate to somebody and, and give them hope and give them guidance. I didn't let that situation define my outcome, yeah. right? So my purpose and my why and success to me is whenever I can lift people up, followers are followers, right? That'll come, money's money, that's the byproduct. But when you do what you love, to me that's success, mm -hmm. you know? For me, it, it, it's actually, you know, um, it's close to what you said. Yeah. For me, success is to do something that I love, that I feel passion to, mm -hmm. but to also feel respect, not from anyone. I don't need respect from anyone, right. but for people who I respect. Mm -hmm. When I feel this mutual respect, oh my God, this is what I call success because I feel it. That it's all I need. It feels that I'm doing something right. It's something that I do, it's on point. And also, trust me guys, success is it's when someone is trying to put you down. When you see the people trying to put you down, you need to feel that you're a successful person. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. And you can have a lot of that. Well, you know, right? maybe like a few years ago, yeah, I felt bad and uh, I don't know, I, not depressed, but something that, 
maybe they broke me, they split open. Yeah, <laughs> But, uh, you know, then I like to, to think about all the situation and I realize it's, it's a good thing. I'm trying to find some positive things in everything. So I, I rely that if I need them, if they talk about me, bad or good, it means that I'm someone mm -hmm. and it's good. I'm a hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. I mean, just looking at your social media, Lika. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, you got a lot of people that obviously you got a ton of supporters, but like you said, I'm sure you got a lot of just haters that look but, at your stuff. But you know, uh, I feel um, I feel good. I, I feel respect to anyone who follow me. Yeah, I'm trying to like yeah to talk with my followers, and when they ask me something, I always reply. I mean, it's better to be in touch with them because come on, they the same people like me. I'm not feeling like I'm here right. and hey, you're not gonna talk to you. No, no, no. Yeah. No, never like that. That's powerful. No. And I don't like this kind of people who act like this. So why you have social media? Why do you need these followers just for yourself? It's something like mm, selfish. Right. Right? It's very selfish, yeah. Yeah. But you need to give back something. To be successful, it's not only to take, you need to give back something. This is how I live. Wow, that's powerful. So, of course, you know, again, people might look at what it is that you do and some of the people that you hang out with, and people get a little jealous over that. People can get envious and, and, and they feel as if they have a right to not necessarily do what you're doing but to hang out with those kind of people right have you ever had any cases where you know maybe a, a friend or just an, an acquaintance that they might have messaged you or something or they came up and they're like hey i want you to you know i want you to do this like they're asking favors like for you to make an introduction oh yeah you know because there's a there's a way of doing it professionally when there's a value exchange but when there's no value at all, it's like, why, why would I want to make an introduction for you if you haven't necessarily proven to me that you deserve the introduction? Well, you, you know? know, I don't want I don't want someone to prove me that they deserve, but I don't like someone who tried to use me. And I feel it like this. Yeah. I feel it even in my close circle. I feel that people trying to deal with me only because they need my connections. They want like free tickets to my show why do you need to come to my show because they want to connect with all these VIP people not because they want to come and support me so and you know when I feel it I'm trying to just erase these people from my life that's mm -hmm. it no regrets you know if someone used me why do I need to deal with this no because I never use someone in my life if I need some something I can ask you know I need can you do it for me? Yeah. Maybe I can give something in return, but I need this. But I'm never gonna be like this snake, you know, around yeah. your neck and try <laughs> to... <laughs> like an anaconda. It's not, yeah, I feel you. not like that. Not my style. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, it's funny, I just thought about this. How important is reputation to you? It's a great question. Yeah. It's a great question. It's, it, it's important for me. Very. Yeah, that's why a lot of people keep asking me, Lika, why you're not doing some, like, um, because you know I do a lot of covers of the magazines, yeah, some different covers, I'm like Men's yeah. Magazine asking me to do something wow. spicy and uh, <laughs> pay good money for this, and it's like, hmm, I was like, hmm, you know, should I do it? But then I think about my reputation, that today it's fun. But what about tomorrow when I'm going to have kids and this mm -hmm. and that? Yes, I have a lot of pictures and swimming suit on my um, social media, but still it's not like I'm naked. So, <laughs> yeah, I think it's different. But um, it's not only about to make pictures like you know, a men's magazine. It's something that reputation, it's a big thing for me, you know. Uh, reputation, it's also I can say you something, you know, I, I can promise you something. Then I can break my promises, and it's also, you know, it's 
it's not good about liquidation to break promises or to say bad about someone you know or these little things but it make your reputation so for me it's number one so yeah it's mm. important wow yeah i feel as if especially especially in the bigger cities you know you have a lot of people that are in the, the same exact industry and then it's like you know who do i go to and of course referrals are are huge in, in cities like this you know you got a friend that like you said you need help with you know maybe it's social media or just something you know where do i go to buy this certain product where do you recommend and you uh if it's somebody if it's somebody reputable you know you you take their advice you take their opinion on that based upon their reputation exactly you know you're not going to uh it's a really nice car besides but <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of good cars here we on Rodeo drive yeah it's uh, hard of beverly hills I feel, I feel like we passed about like 20 lambos already <laughs> yeah and you see there's my twin oh yeah wow <laughs> yeah but um you know the problem is that in hollywood people try to use you they tr try to pretend to be a friend is it just a hollywood thing though i mean no it's everywhere but here is most it's something that you know everywhere like almost everywhere and when you find people like positive the same like you oh my god you want to keep these people you want to you value this relationship yeah because yeah. not everybody <laughs> you, you don't meet just somebody on the street that's talking about success or getting to the next level mindset energy mm -hmm. uh the universe god you know whatever it is that you believe in like, you don't just see that a lot of people especially out here like you said i mean you got people out here just trying to party oh yeah all the time but, mm -hmm. but what do you celebrate life <laughs> Have you have you achieved something? Now, if you, and and in all due respect, I'm not trying to like come at people that are celebrating for no reason. But I'm just saying, like, if you literally are in a position where you where you're kind of like broke, and you and you're spending money on bottles on the weekend, like, what's the purpose of that? Well, you know, I can tell you, I'm not judge these kind of people because right. they probably have a reason and it's their own thing but um, as I told you at the very beginning I think you need to invest your um, a lot of time for yourself not only to read books and to go to some classes no even for your inner um, like education inner means like for your uh, inside um, vibes go to ocean just to feel yourself because sometimes we can't understand yours like ourselves mm. if you can understand yourself how can you understand me that's so true right yeah but self first, love it, yes it's come from here and the same hate when you hate someone when you put this bad uh, comment under someone picture what navigates you to make this action what do you <laughs> think what something that you know because you're not on the same page with yourself right something wrong inside you not under not this person that you comment but something wrong inside you first of all you need to feel and understand yourself i think that happy people do not do bad things like real real happy people they can't do bad actions it's just impossible it's not their nature no they don't have time for this and mm -hmm. desire <laughs> They want to enjoy the life themselves, family, friends, their career, but not doing this bullshit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> That's what it is. So, okay, let me ask you this. this. This is interesting. So, let's say somebody's at the pinnacle of their success, meaning, you know, they're, they can pretty much have whatever they want. You know, they got the money, they got the lifestyle and all that. Would you classify somebody being at the pinnacle of their success, always being happy? No. No. Well, why do you think that is? You think that someone is always uh, has success, they happy or not? No, because you can't live your life in this position. Mm. It's always ups and downs. Yeah. 
everywhere with everyone. You just can't because if you're gonna live like this, you die. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So that's why we have happy situation. People losing their family members, friends, or job, or like something, or even they have a depression. Being a successful, look at the celebrities. Like I don't want to mention the names, but you know they have this uh, like drug addiction and yeah. all this uh, like mental issues, and they successful, they famous, they have money. So question: Why? Why are they suffering with this? Can you answer? I mean, maybe they're going through. I mean, they're going through their own battle. You know, like like you said, they. If they're going through something like that, maybe they just don't love themselves enough to truly understand how they operate, you know? You know, sometimes I think that this uh, success, I mean, it's different success, but sometimes it's make you blind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe that's why. They just can't handle it. You need to handle the success and to be famous. It's not that easy that people think it is. <laughs> yeah. It's pressure. It's someone, they, all people waiting for you to be a role model. So you can't do this and that. You need to be perfect. And if you do something wrong, people trying to pull you down. And it's not like one, two person. It's like a crowd. <laughs> right. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's powerful. I was curious when, because I, I wanted to hear you say that because I feel, <laughs> I just feel as if people have that twisted. Like if you're successful that you're just like always happy. No, 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 no. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I mean, what happiness is for you? For me? Yeah. Can you be always happy? Oh, absolutely not. Of course. Like you said, you go through the roller coasters. No, only like people with the real mental issues they who live in their own planet they always happy even yeah. they not always happy you know uh, right yeah. they say like people when they live in like other space they always happy no i mean it's it's impossible it's just impossible wow cuz we're all going through our own battle our own journey like your journey's, you know, a lot different than my journey. My journey's different than your journey. The audience's journey, the listener's journey, like we're all born differently. We're not this. We don't have the same exact thing. Of course, yeah. We all have our own issues, like um, different roads, different ways. It's it calls life. <laughs> it's true, yeah. So to establish happiness or to become a little bit more happier do you think reading books helps like what are some habits that you recommend for somebody to, to really help in discovering themselves i'll tell you something it's very hard to recommend something to anyone because it can be one thing for everyone to be happy mm -hmm. for one person it can be to read books and go to the ocean for another one it's go out and eat ice cream and they feel <laughs> happy you know another one can be just with the, the parents and with their pets kids wherever i think that guys do wherever bring you happiness and smile to your face just positive vibes only and around be around people who put you up not down this is the most important and if something is if you're feeling bad right now or you under depression stress don't be shy to share your feelings with the people you know and trust don't be shy don't don't be alone just get some help and be with someone who you trust and who you love straight up you got any pets <laughs> you got a dog? I have two. Two dogs, yeah. My babies. Oh my god, I love them so much. What, what kind are they? Uh, Maltese and Maltipoo. Oh. Yeah. You have dogs? Nah, I've, I just had cats growing up. <laughs> dogs are cool though, I like dogs. Yeah. They, uh, that's the thing, like with a, with a dog, it's like 
typically they're always happy and, and they're like man's best friend you know <laughs> so when people uh whenever they see dogs it, it just they got like their tongues hanging out and everything and and it, they just kind of like they're in their own joy state but you know what i think right now what <laughs> that your battery is low. <laughs> <laughs> now you're right, I got that notification, you know? <laughs> no, I mean, um, you're funny. If, if something in your life going down or if something that you feel like really depressed or you feel that, okay, I can't live anymore, or something bad, I think you need to change something in your life. It's a sign that you need to change anything. I'm not telling to change your husband or wife, right, we ain't <laughs> but going sometimes, that deep, yeah. you know, but no, I mean, to make some changes, really? to do something, it's a big sign, and I believe in this. Yeah? Yeah. It's, I mean, you're going to get uncomfortable, but it's natural. Because people like to feel this comfortable zone, you need to be in this comfortable zone. That's actually, okay, if you want to be successful, you need to go out of this comfortable zone. Wow. Yes, for sure. That's deep. Yeah, you need to go out. Otherwise, you're never ever gonna be successful. Yeah. You need to go through a lot of shit before you're oh, gonna be my successful. Oh goodness. Yes, I mean it's it's something real. No, I can attest to that a lot because just with me coming out here to Los Angeles, being from a, a town that's really small in Pennsylvania. We're not used to going to networking events and just meeting new people and everything. And um, of course, I'd like to say one of my gifts is just being able to connect with people on a deeper level and then having people truly understand what it is that, you know, about their life. Like I understand, I, I, I like to read people. I like to feel people on that deep level. And then coming out to here, I realized, okay, I can define myself as being an introvert, but then I told myself, if I define myself by being an introvert, I'm holding myself back yeah. by not going to events. I went to an event last night, it's about 75 people there, a buddy of mine, uh, Meta World Peace, he used to play on the Los Angeles Lakers, and he invited me out, and I was like, at first, I'm thinking, oh, I'm, this is a networking event, this is going to be a little bit... Uh, I don't know, you know, you kind of have that thought that goes through your mind, but then I told myself, I'm like, Nate, this is what you want. Like, you want to meet new people. You want to get connected with other people, whether it's for the podcast, whether it's for just business or just see what they're doing in their life, like to help them. I love helping people. I love hearing people's stories. Like, that's what I'm passionate about. And I went to that event. I'll be real, like the first 20 minutes, it was hard for me to kind of just start talking to people, but... Then I, I went through the motions. I started talking to one person, the second person. And then with me, I go up to like the, whether it's the host or just, just the people that are actually absolutely dominating it in what they do. There was a music artist in the room and I just went up to him and started talking to him, started connecting with him. And then I got into my zone. But I did that by getting what? Uncomfortable and adapting to that. Huh? If you want to reach something new, you need to do something new. Mm. If you, yeah, of course, yeah. If you want to reach something new, you have to do something new. Yeah. That's powerful. Copyright legal support. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna have a uh, have that quote made up with a photo of yours just for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's powerful, Lika. But uh, cool. I definitely want to be respectful of your time, of course. So, where can the audience like follow you on, on social media? Well, they want to follow me, they can go to my Instagram page, Facebook page, my website. It's all under my name, Liko Sipova. So, wherever you feel, guys, let's connect and let's share experience. And if I can help you with something, just ask me, text me. Absolutely. And I will attach all of those links in the uh, in the bio below for you guys to give Lika a follow. And then typically Lika at the end of the show, I always have the guest end it not just on a 
you know, motivational or a success note, but something that they can actually go out and execute on, right? Something they can apply into their life, an action step that once they hear this, they need to do it like immediately. I know we talked about, you know, a lot of success throughout this talk, but what's that one thing that you recommend for people to just like apply right now? Well, guys, you know, if you, if you always wanted to, to be someone or if you want always wanted to do some hobby or if you love someone and always wanted to tell him or her it's a right moment to do it right now and you know don't hide your feelings we have only one life so don't be shy don't be shy to try something don't be shy to share your feelings and to tell someone that you love them do it now mm. <laughs> Do it now, baby. You heard it from <laughs> the queen herself, Lika. I appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. That was great. <laughs>